who of you want to do things right? To keep up with keeping your lives tight. Tight as in being right with the truth of true insight. Who of you want to do things right? Who of you want to truly succeed in attaining all and that which is your need? To be heard by the real answerer of all deeds, the true hero of all whom pleads. Who of you really want to bow down to the true king of kings commanding the crown? To worship the one that ever rules alone, commanding everything of creation from the seat of its throne. One of the things that the great blessing of my is doing is the bringing of the seals at this hour of the day is that it's connecting the thread from the most ancient of times of this message up to this latest time and the latest messenger and now. And the thread is running forth that there's always been the Lord L, the definite article of all things, has always been giving forth to mankind, giving forth to his messengers, his signs, which we call messengers, in this hour of the day. And many people today have fragmented or fractioned off their religions and have broken them up into sections and parts. And every religion now has fighting one another today, against what they have the truth, we have the truth, I have the truth, when in reality, that either Allah has always been the truth. If you understand that the language that is sent down to his messenger, the language that they spoke to give forth of his words, is where the people have the many problems today in the, the, the giving forth of his message in the languages of the people today. So with that being said, the panel is always, you know, put it out there. I hope you enjoy what you hear today on this program. <coughs> And I'll continue to investigate. With that being said, we talk about the fragmented religion. We talk about the different religions. You know, fragmented, actually coming from one supreme truth. Ultimately, all they don't recognize it. Also, within the religions, you got factions within Islam, factions within Christianity, factions within Buddhism, and so on. Uh, the factions within the people themselves, their own minds, because they're caught up in their own egos when they uh, try to command. Uh, the truth that the Lord of all worlds has sent to them, the, the clarity, the guidance that is sent to them, they try to command it for themselves and take ownership of it themselves, you know, both large and small. You know, you got, you got a, 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 such as language. Uh, you have a, a faction of uh, those in, uh, whether it was Jews of the Hebrew and Muslims and speaking the Arabic, they would say such things as like the Lord of all worlds, the creator of all things, all mindsets, all languages will only speak to a certain people in their language, their language uh, that they come from. Uh, Muslims, uh, Muslims have said uh, Aiza in his name Allah would not speak to you, would not understand, would not listen to you unless you speak to it in Arabic, would not even listen to you unless you speak to it as if it's not ultimately the command and uh, uh, in command of the French language or in command of the English language or the creator of yeah, all those languages. Great, I mean, really, yeah. uh, you know, it's like uh, uh, the people are going around thinking that they are the independent thing. We are the independent mindset. And I can independently uh, tell uh, the rest of my congregation or the rest of the disbelieving world, so to speak, what the Lord is thinking or how the Lord wants us to be. You know, whatever name that they give, I use uh, the Lord above all names. Well, that's bringing us right back to what we were saying, how right. the leaders hold back so because of the benefit. Now, if people dealt with truth, then we would identify that the devil works through these people that would take oh, yeah. and break things up in all these different pieces. Right. When the law said it is one, it is one, and right. it's only one community, you that's know, right. but because there's so much to gain and breaking things apart um, and to hide in the truth. I mean, and the truth has been hidden from the beginning of the time. You know, um, that's just where we're at here today. And that's why Aiza is coming down to destroy mankind because, again, they turn away from Aiza and take of the devil within themselves and outside of themselves and start their own way of life against Aiza lost command. So it's because of the benefit of these individuals. It's the devil within them. It's feeding off of their egos or what have you that will cause all this division and will try to take down that which Aisa has established since the beginning of time. But if man is so foolish to believe that he has the power to undo what Aisa has set to be done, and no matter what it appears to be, like a lot of times we think that um, their success, their powers and numbers and what have you, that's all the illusion that a law, 
Ta'is, O Lord, gives mankind so that it can show us this sign as it takes them down. Okay. Well, you know, there's uh, um, factions of people today that say Muhammad stole from Christianity right. to um, develop, you know, Islam, to develop the Quran. Right. Those are the people who are not believers that Allah spoke to Prophet Muhammad, the Lord El spoke to Prophet Muhammad. And, um, and they would identify what Prophet Muhammad said with what was said by the other prophets that they, uh, um, in the collection of books of, of the Lord in the right. Bible, because those were many prophets from many lands, right. many nations, speaking many different languages. Right that they compiled and then put it all into one language for the book and our language they put it in English. Right. You know, that's why I say to many people of the religion of Christianity, you think you've read the Bible, but you've never read the Bible. Right. You've read translations of the right. Bible. Right. And in those translations anything can be said. Same with the Muslims. They think they're reading the Holy Quran right. and they're they're misreading the Holy Quran. Because the translation, there's false translations. And then Muslims will say, I mean, Arabs will say, well, see, that's what we're telling you. The divine language of Allah cannot be translated into another language. It can only be spoken, written in Arabic, read in Arabic. So you need to learn Arabic. Well, if that's the truth, why are they falsely translating it if they actually know what it says in Arabic? Right. It is, I don't know Arabic, but I know that my Lord said they falsely translated it. And right. then it pointed out different surahs and different um, verses where they clearly falsely translated. And I come to Arab-speaking people and say, well, the Lord said that this is false and this says this. And then they look it up and say, hmm, hmm, how do you know? Right. Because the Lord said to me, this is wrong and that's wrong because they want to disconnect the religion. Now, Prophet Muhammad didn't do nothing no different than what Jesus or any of the other messengers did of the Lord. He, he came <clears throat> and he gave the same message that the Lord had been given since the beginning of time for humanity. As a matter of fact, even before the time of humanity, when he gave, when it gave the message to the angels, before right. the falling of Lucifer and the fallen angels, right. you know, because the Lord said to me, it gave them a book. We got the third book. Humanity That's got the third, third book. Right. Huh? Mm -hmm. It gave the angels a book, it gave fallen angels a book, and it gave us a book. Right. You know? And, and all those books come from the eternal book that's, that's kept preserved and protected as, as sex centered beneath the throne in the high heavens of the Lord right. Most High. You know? So, no, that nothing was stolen. We're here, like I'm here today to uh, uh, remind the people again of the pure message, the true message. Because, see, the Lord, it never forgets a thing. Right. You see? And what it does with its messages is just send, bring us down to earth and give that message again. You know, break through all the falsehoods, all the bent and spent words and clear it up, clarify it. And the Holy Quran was to be a, a clarification, a criterion for all the books that came before it and for all the books that is to come behind it. Well, that same thing is for all books that the Lord sent down that's educational books, not just so much right. the history, historical aspects of it. The Holy Quran has a historical aspect in its writing and it has an aspect of guidance, wisdom right. in its writing. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's actually broke down in like three different types of sections. Right. You know, that which warns you against the devil that which guides you into the way of Allah, and that which speaks of what's ha what has happened with man himself. Right. Huh? That's right. In the Holy Quran. You know, and it's a magnificent book. But it has been corrupted in its translations where, where people of Islam say, oh, it is the most protected book. It is protected. No, it's not protected. The Arabic is protected in the sense that it hasn't been changed. But if you right. change the meaning of a word, where is that protection at? Right. If you could say, um, that is the book, or this is the, the book, book, and I tell you to say, that is the book, and you could come up to me, because you speak Arabic, and say, it says what? It says that. 
in, in Anime. Valley Cat. Valley Cat. Valley Cat. Okay, if they could change that Valley Cat to mean from that to this, then how protected right. is it? Right. You know, right. if they could say, say he is a law instead of say Hugh and the law is one and the same, right. then how much is that protected? And then you got billions of Muslims that, or millions that speak Arabic, write right. Arabic, and they see that and they say nothing right. to the people of the world. Yes, yeah. They allow the politicians and the religious leaders to, 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 to do those things, to make the path crooked, and they say nothing, and then they say, we believe. And then they separate the schools and say, you have to be of this school or that school or that school, you know. And then they talk about how the Muslims were, I mean, the Christians were separated in denominations. And then right. here they got, got their denominations. Right. Same thing again, right. You know, they point the finger when they can point it at themselves. They pointed right. at others and said, look at their wrong. But Aiza uh, said that they read from the same book. Right. In the Holy Quran, he said they do this and they read from the same mm -hmm. book, talking about the people that came before them. Right. The Muslims is doing the same exact thing. Right. And they know, those who are educated on the conversations of Muhammad, that right. Muhammad has said, and it was written in the Holy Quran, that if they did the same thing that the people of the book did before them, then Allah would exchange them right. for a new creation. It will create a new people, and it will right. give a new book. Well, they say Prophet Muhammad was the last when Allah right. said it, he was the seal, the sign of approval, the stamp right. of approval of the messengers. And he was the seal of all those that came before him amongst the Semitic messengers to, right. those, to the Hebrews, to the Jews. That's right. huh? And then they want to separate that Muhammad spoke to the, to the Jews and Hebrews Right in the Holy, through the Holy Quran, when the Allah said, say, tell them that you of Jehovah or Yahuwah is one with, in the same thing as Allah is. Right. You know? So, they, I mean, there's so many things that the identification about how the, how the Jews or the Hebrews played a role with Muhammad during his time. Right. And, and regardless of that, Muhammad, the regardless of what the, 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 the um, the Athribites did, the Medinites, right. regardless of all the good they did to help Muhammad, Allah told Muhammad, do not trust them. Yeah. Not those particular ones that was helping, but the, the right. you know, we, in general. We, 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 yeah. you, the ones you trust more so than them, and you got to watch out for them, is the people of the book that came after them, the Christians. That's right. You know, because they're more of a different spirit. Right. You know what I mean? So... It wasn't to say anything evil against the Jews or the Hebrews. Right. It was to speak truth. Yeah. And Muhammad, regardless of what they did, he still spoke the truth. But they helped him establish Islam. The Muslims won't teach that. They're so busy trying to separate right. that they won't, they won't tell the truth that the Medinites were Jews. The Jews, right. And some of Muhammad's family members were Jews. Some were Christians. Then right. and they were Africans from Ethiopia. You know, or Abyssinia. His mother was an Abyssinian. Right. You know, and they were Africans, not so much the Asians as what we know Asia to be today. Right. You know, mm -hmm. and they didn't have those landlines. So the religions wasn't so much separated in their minds. They read from the books before them. And Prophet Muhammad is written all in the Holy Quran. He knew about the Day of Revelation. He knew about the Book of Revelation. He knew about John's prophecy. He spoke about it over and over and over and over and over. And he was telling the Muslims, "Cause this is for you who believe in Allah in the last day." Right. Talk about the Day of Revelation. So you know, I mean, if you are sincere in 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 your your seeking of the Lord Most High. If you are sincere and trying to find a source of peace and to have that peace placed right. upon you, then you will not complicate what's been sent down simple. Right. You will stay simple right. with it and be and, and be open minded to look instead of listening to people who tell you don't read any other books when the Holy Quran itself in order for it to be a criterion for those that right. the yes. things that came in, you got to read those other of things. Course. Right. To confirm that, it's to confirm it, that it is yeah. the criterion. If you don't go back into the book of Enoch, which, which the, which the uh, Catholicists threw out of the books of the Bible, 
If you don't go back to the books of uh, uh, Sadafa Gautama, if you don't go back to Lao Shu's writing, if you don't go back to their Fuster's writings, if you don't go back to all those things, how will that Quran clarify and be a criterion for what Allah sent down even to the time of Adam? Huh? That's one of the things that have been to people who, who even read the holy books. That would make sense if Allah left it in there if you don't go back and investigate. Which came before and that which is to come. Mm -hmm. Now, I easily said that you're the one that was promised to come. Right. So why not investigate the writings or the information that he's putting forth via the television program or in the writings themselves in the pamphlet and the precursing book that Allah has given you to really investigate the reality that the Lord have not just given world the man of kind of way to say just fit for yourself. But it's ever warning, ever guiding as it says in the Quran again. It's ever sending warnings to you. Mm -hmm. If that's the truth, then why would people of religion today say, well, the Lord don't speak to man no more. Mm -hmm. He don't give this to no more to man. Don't give that to man no more. That's because that old champion, the devil, the devil set yeah. the devil Satan, right. is again has risen. The Lord promised that it would let it rise it up yeah. until the last day. And it would let it send forth its false prophets. Right. And, and it would show the people, and, and, and you know, the, the workings of the devil. And the masses of the people, it, it said it would save 144,000. That's right. a small number. Right. Right. That's a small city. That's yeah. only a town. Out of the 6 billion people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the Lord is showing how it is destroying the world as it promised yes, by, it by, by the elements. It said in the book of Revelation, and in the four elements of earth, I will destroy you. Of course, they translated that as four the four corners. Angels. Four angels. angels in the corners. Yeah. The angels in the four corners. Right. Right. Well, those four corners is the four elements that we know of. Right. Of right. the earth. And out of those elements comes other elements such as metal. You know, right. balling Iron yeah. flying up, boiling stones yeah. flying up into the sky right. And, right. And, and, and just decimating towns, you know, from the earthquakes. Yeah. And, and you, you, you feel where I'm coming from? Mm -hmm. I mean, the Lord is doing what it says it was going to do. And, and now one of our greatest enemies are the insects. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just doing us in all around the world. You know, piling from the trees. The, tr the vegetation is turned against us, literally. Everybody get get uh, uh what you call sinus, sinus problems yeah, or uh, allergies. allergies. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And then you look at the gin, the gin on television, and they advertising all these crazy drugs that yeah. they never was allowed to advertise before. For a headache, I can could, I could grant you the best cure for a headache. It's better than the Tylenol. Uh, this blue pill here, you take it. But you be careful because it might give you a heart attack. Yeah. You know, but your headache will be cured. You know, yeah. it might ruin your liver. But your right. headache will... And don't let your wife touch it if she's pregnant or plan to get right. pregnant yeah. sometime yeah. in the future yeah. because... Right. It goes through the skin and, and, and it will get up, you know. I mean, it's crazy. Um, you know, going back to um, the people of Prophet Muhammad time and, the, the, you know, what Prophet Muhammad was sent out to do, it just made me reflect on Jesus. You know, we look at the rest of the prophets when they're here and we can't appreciate them or take care to what they're giving us, you know, um, of truth. We ignore that. But then hundreds of years later, like with Jesus, you got all these people that following in Jesus in the light of Jesus. Oh, yeah, now. But yet and still when Jesus walked this this planet, they had gave the good words to try to give the people the path that they needed to be on to save their lives. Jesus had twelve disciples and he really didn't have twelve disciples did, yeah. because when they put him on the cross with nobody right. only trained him. But no, nobody, no, nobody came and fought to the death for him. And right. everybody said they love Jesus. You know? Well, they, you can love someone that's no longer here to put the pressure on you. Someone, right. and when I mean the you pressure, ain't the pressure, I mean the truth. You right. can love yeah. someone if you could just pick up, pick up their book and read what somebody said. They say and close it. And you have say, no responsibility. Right. 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 Say a couple of amens and um, right. no responsibility. And what have you? Tribute to Jesus. But, and and it's that. just another way of you ignoring the calling of Aisha because right. if people really truly believe that that which Jesus was sent here to give them then 
why is only Jesus' name up here? Well, because one his thing, way of life wasn't up here. They don't even try to seek to give you the truth about his life. Then nobody ever talk about how he had these 12 punk disciples. Because if you love someone, if, that, if Jesus was your child, they would have had, uh, as a mother, they would have had to kill me before I allowed them to hurt my child. So we have all this falsehood uh, of love that we let come forth out of our mouth. But then when we tried on that, we're never there to stand up and, 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 and be tested on it. Let me say this here. Um, uh, I, don't, I, I don't know so much about the personality of those. Uh, <laughs> she love to call him punks. <laughs> it ain't help help a brother Jesus, but you know I beg to differ with you saying that they walked in the light of Christ and the light of Jesus, because the light of Jesus is the light of Christ. No, no, no. You was in your explanation. You said these people saying they walk in the right, light. Right. Saying. But but what it is is they walking in the light of the, of the devil. Actually, because the devil got a light too. And because mm -hmm. see, if you know the light of Christ, you would not be the same. Right. You understand? Right. You would not be sitting in the church looking for guidance from a man who don't know Christ. Right. One who has appointed himself as a minister or been appointed as a minister by some congregation that is governed by this, you know, this government, you know, and got certain rules and regulations, or one who comes out as a priest from a bunch, uh, from a, among a bunch of uh, sadistic sodomizers. Yeah. You know. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a lot of heavy stuff going on because, yeah, because Jesus was not the Christ, and they call him Jesus Christ. Right. So you got people who allow, you know, uh, deceit and and falsehood to go straight up yeah. in Christianity, right. just like we talked about in Islam. Right. Right. You understand? Jesus was of the Christ. Jesus became enlightened by the Christ. Jesus became crushed and and and, and decimated and. De destroyed and then brought back to life in the Christ, mm -hmm. huh? And the Christ was in him when he came back to a, to a uh, state of what we might call normal normalcy, because he was never really normal again. He just right. walked amongst normal people. Right. You understand? Do they walk in that light? No. How many people walk in that light on this earth? Very few, if any. Right. Very few. You understand? But the thing is, we have to we have to know that there's separation between the independent, ultimate, impossible being of L and all that it makes possible of creation. You know? And man is nowhere near it in terms of being like it. Man is only a reflection. When you take a mirror and you have your reflection of yourself, that reflection is there only as long as you're in front of that mirror. Right. right. You know, yeah, and, and the creation itself is a reflection of the, of, of the Lord Most High, the image that it creates, the image that it manifests of itself. But it is it is so far away and, and at the same time so near permeating everything because it is everything. You know, it, it, it's, it's the alive, not us, it's the alive. If it takes its life out of us, then we have no life. If it takes everything that it owns, everything that belongs to it out of us, then we have nothing. So who are we? You know, we need to understand the language of the, of the holy. We need to understand when we say this world is a world of illusions. We need to understand what that is. Not the illusions that magicians manifest and manufacture on stage and make you see, think that's an illusion. It's not real. You know, no. It's, an, it's the most real illusion that's not real. That's life itself as we know it. The created, the life that's created, because you have life, then you have creations of life, you know, and life is eternal, but the creations of life is infinite, it's finite, you know, I mean, you know, we have beginning and end, Aiza is the beginning and the end to everything, and it's the medium, the middle point of everything, you know, and it lives through everything. And everything lives through it. Huh? But it is the master and everything else is the slave. Everything else is the servant. Everything else can die and not, and not have form while it lives without it. Because it needs nothing and everything else needs it. You know? And even in that, that's how man is created equal. You see? But we want to go and 
break that off and say, no, everybody's not equal. Man's created equal, but then they go off and they're not no longer equal, you know, because you go great by your merits, you know? I don't care what you gain. Even the prophets, even the angels is equal in need of of the Lord L right. as everything yeah. else right. is. So right. everything is created equal, equally in need of that thing that's not created, that thing that's uncreated, that thing that always is, that has no beginning or no end to itself, and no right. medium. Mm -hmm. Huh? Equally in need, such as the, the need of the reflection to have you standing in front of the mirror. And if you walk away from the mirror, Reflection is no longer there, so it's just uh, how close and how immediate uh, is, is, you know, it's, it's so close, it's how, you know, if you can't it ain't even It ain't even so close, it's it's you. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> how close is that? Yeah, that's yeah. pretty, that's It's yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> that's why yeah. when the Lord said in the Holy Quran, it is closer to you than you are to your own juggler vein, right. it's telling you that I am in you. I am permeating you. I am closer than anything you recognize about yourself to you. And it's telling you, if you want to find me, you got to find me in you. You got to go through you to find me. But that's another lesson. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's funny because you mentioned that because in the scripture, those who are familiar with the Bible now, know that he just said it through the mouth of Jesus. The kingdom of heaven outside, but it's in you. And he said people on a journey, or people that in religion today, look for the journey, they automatically want to go out into the world mm -hmm. trying to find Jesus or the Lord. When Jesus said, all that you need is inside. Now, how do you go inside? You know, that's where the people had the paradox, or had a problem in The being reborn again had a problem with. I either left a symbol, a symbolism with that, with the star David, Sel and Solomon with that. And inverted up right here. Then who said it was the star, David? It was before David. David. Oh, oh yeah. We we gonna have to shake this up <laughs> yes, for the next segment. With that being said, okay. <laughs> you know, he didn't get us all in the show sometimes. The time really He's don't. He's so used to the hour show. show you don't want to listen to the, to the cameraman and the kids saying, "You get thirty seconds." You know. I didn't get out of here. But this has been an I had moment to come before the storm. You want to reach us by correspondence, you can reach us at I had Incorporated Post Office Box 8795, North New Jersey 07103, or via the internet at Third House, T H I R D H O U S S E at Yahoo.com. You want to do things right. To keep up with keeping your lives tight. Tight as in being right with the truth of true insight. Who of you want to do things right? Who of you want to truly succeed?